If you're like me and you like to stay nice and organized when it comes to technology and doing things in fewer time and with less clicks, well, this video is for you. In this video, I want to show you how you can save your favorite websites, not just as bookmarks in your browser, but on your desktop as well. All right, so we'll start with Chrome. Here I am in Google Chrome, opened up, of course, to the leader of learning website. And what you'll want to do is go next to your profile picture, select the three dot menu for more options, then more tools, and click where it says save page as. Once you click, this window will pop up. You can rename the title of the shortcut. In this case, I'll just shorten it to leader of learning. Make sure that it's saving to your desktop because the whole point is to be able to just single click from your desktop, actually double click, save it as a web page. And now you'll notice that once the download goes through, there is the shortcut on my desktop that'll take me right to the leader of learning website. Once it's on the desktop, double click and there you go. It opens up a web page right in Google Chrome, and it's the same page that I saved onto the desktop. Now we'll go to Firefox. I know Firefox is another very popular web browser, but this process is a little different because you can't do it from within the browser. So here we're going to go to File, Save Page As, again, rename it. In this case, you'll notice that it wants to, by default, go to my documents. So I'm going to click the drop down menu and select for it to go to my desktop. It's being saved as a web page. So once I click save again, now automatically the shortcut pops up on my desktop. Just to test that it works properly, I'll go ahead and double click it. And there you go. It opens the leader of learning website. You'll notice that it opened in Google Chrome. Nothing to worry about there. It's just that Chrome is my default web browser. And here we are in Safari, another very popular and also the default web browser on Macs. It's really the same process as we used in Firefox. It's not native to the browser. We're going to go to the File menu, click Save As. Once again, we have the option to rename. So I'll take out the home and we're just left with leader of learning. It does want to save it to our desktop, which is great. But the difference here is that you can select from a couple of different formats, either page source or web archive. In my experience, I've found that actually saving it as the page source is really most beneficial because while it says that the web archive saves everything, including photos, when you select page source and then you bring the website back up from the desktop shortcut, you can still see everything. Just to test it, let me double click on the shortcut that got added to the desktop. There you go. It opened up again in Google Chrome because that's my default, but all of the images and files that are on the Leader of Learning website still show up. 